Welcome everybody to another speed build tutorial by TGIB. Today we want to make an animation in Poser. Music is by No More Dolls. This is their album No More Dolls. The animation we want to make is a pogo dance fitting to the music and as usual we first need a second live avatar to play with. There he is. Now you might remember my mantra that I'm using every time you make a pose. First frame needs to be the T-frame and the animation starts with the second frame. This is true for animations too, but let me show you what happens when we do that. Um, this is gonna enlarge, um, make the, the speed build tutorial a little bit longer, but it's instructional. So, first frame is the T pose. Let's go to the second frame. Oops. There we are. And if you make an animation, um, it will stretch over a number of frames. For a quick pogo frame, we just need to like 15 frames yes and um, we break this down into keyframes that's what this um, little corner and poser is there for keyframes are frames that are store that store the pose of the anim of, of the figure and calculate the transition between the poses in between the keyframes. Let me show you how this works. It's actually much easier than it sounds. Let's make the second frame our first keyframe. We click on add keyframes. Then let's say this is the frame where we want to want the pose to be on the floor. So let's um, Put the feet on the floor. Our avatar stands a little bit slouched, he just landed, so it's good. is down. Pogo dance means one arm is stiff down. And the other one is outstretched. Like this. a little. And um, let's twist the hand so it's kind of straight. This is our first keyframe. Now let's say um, this is the frame where the um, animation starts and where it ends. So this is the first frame and the last frame of our animation. Let's make the last frame also the same keyframe. And in between we have one frame where the avatar is in the head, in, in the air. This is like the eighth frame. Um, this didn't work. Okay, let's go to the eighth, eighth frame. Make this also a keyframe, but this time the avatar is in the air jumping the head is back and now stop telling me those stupid things you're 
it looks like this. This is our next keyframe. And the last keyframe is supposed to be the same as the frame number two. So let's go here, click on edit, memorize the figure, and go on to the frame 15, make this a keyframe, and restore the figure. You see, it just looks the same as it stood at first. Mm. Let's see how this animation looks when we play it. Oh, this is not good. So you throw it away, searching for something, and it's nothing. Let's take this one here out of there. And camera here also. And if you go very slowly, you can see that it's doing a freaky thing with its left hand and the right hand. It's gonna get over the head. This is because Poser um, calculates the transition between poses dynamically. Like it would make a natural um, transition and this works very well except that our first frame is this one and from here to here make it natural transition leads to weird results so what we need to do is to make a good animation we memorize the figure we need to actually start at the first frame to make the animation we can use the one um, figure we already mm, no, we can't well let's make this quickly once more This is our first keyframe. Let's make this down to 15 frames again. Okay. It's also the last keyframe. And in between, we add another keyframe where the avatar is in the air.
There we go. Let's remove this. Let's have a look how this looks. And this looks much more like a pogo pose. So we will keep that. Export it as a BVH. BVH. I already made one. And then we need to make a new one. This time with the T frame as a first fra frame. And starting from the second frame, we import our BVH motion. it there okay and we delete the frames that we don't need so the pogo pose had 15 frames the first frame is a t, t pose so we need frames 1 to 16 and then it's gonna look like this this little arm wriggling in the in this in the in the in between is the T pose and at the beginning. You will not see this in Second Life. Let me show you. We save this as our complete um, pogo pose, both in a, as a poser file. it as a BVH motion. We can override the old Pogo BVH we had because we won't need that anymore. And then switching into Second Live we can upload the animation. Let's point with the right hand and ease in and out will be two seconds. And that's what it's gonna look like. Oh, well. Turn off the AO. That's how it's gonna look like in Second Life. Thank you very much for watching and listening. This was another. TJB speed build tutorial. Today we made a pogo animation.